Welcome to my YouTube channel. This time we will learn to convert this photo to 3D for Facebook with Adobe Photoshop. Let's start. To start, using Ctrl plus J, we will duplicate the image. Then we go to select and click on subject, so that the program selects the area of the subject. As we can see, the selection is not perfect. So with the quick selection tools we complete the selection, and we eliminate some unwanted areas that have been selected. We confirm that we have the entire subject area selected as it is extremely important that the subject is fully selected to create this effect. In the event that the entire area of the subject is not selected, we will obtain an unsuitable and perhaps distorted result. Take your time to select everything perfectly and you will get an excellent result. Once we have an optimal selection, we apply a layer mask to the layer we duplicate and make the layer below invisible. We create a new layer and fill it with a striking color such as green to better see the edges of the subject. We place this layer under the subject's layer and remove with the brush some areas that may bother us, such as the cord. By doing this we ensure that the image is not distorted by minimal details that can affect the effect once finished. In case you use a different image, keep in mind that minimal details, like this can be discarded by deleting them so that they can affect the final result. We duplicate the background layer and with the sky color we also eliminate the cord in this image. Now using the brush we perfect the edges of the subject. If you understood this step and you have experience in Photoshop you can skip to minute 648 for the next step.
Now we will modify the layer that we previously filled in with green. As we see on the screen, at the bottom of the layers, we go to Effects and apply Gradient Overlay. Now we create a new layer and having the control key pressed, we click on the layer mask of the subject so that its selection appears. Select a gray color similar to the gradient only a little lighter, and apply it to the new layer by filling in the selection. Now we are going to file, save as, and choosing the JPEG format we save the image with the name that we want. In this case I called it Skate Depth. The name must contain the name depth at the end separated by an underscore symbol. Now we make all these layers invisible and in the background layer we apply a curve effect. Then with the balance color we modify the color of the image. Now we go to File, Save As, and save the image in JPEG format with the name of the previous image but without the depth in the name. Now we go to Facebook, and as if we were going to upload a normal photo we select the photos that we just saved. We wait for the two photos to be uploaded and for Facebook to detect that we want to create a 3D photo. When uploading the images, Facebook automatically creates the 3D effect in the photo as we can see on the screen. Once the creation process is finished, we simply have to publish the photo and we will have finished. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, it would help us a lot. You can find various videos on this channel that will show you incredible effects using Adobe Photoshop, so take a look around our channel. Thanks for the support.